We'll now move on to stories from across Africa. A small boat carrying migrants has capsized off Guinea-Bissau, a port official said, adding that a vessel may have had more than 60 people on board when it set off. Commander Siga Batista said the Pirug, a narrow wooden fishing vessel, sank on Monday night off the impoverished West African country which has 200 kilometers of coastline and no patrol ships to save lives on the high sea. Unquote. We don't know how many people were on board when the boat sank, nor their identity or even their nationality. But according to information that has reached me, there were more than 60 people on board the pirogue. End of quote. Batista added. No survivors have been found, but local radio stations have asked fishermen to tell authorities if they spot any bodies or passengers still alive. Guinea-Bissau, a former Portuguese colony, is one of the world's poorest countries. Now, Catholic bishops reiterated their opposition to the use of condoms to fight HIV-AIDS, calling for abstinence among unmarried couples. The bishops, who were discussing universal health coverage mobilization and financing framework at a health meeting in Mombasa, said they were alarmed by the surge of the HIV virus among Kenyans as they called for vigorous campaign on voluntary testing and counseling. The members of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops insisted that using condoms is immoral. Health experts led by Dr. William Ringera said HIV prevalence is high in Homer Bay as he called on the government to inv invest more in the county to curb the disease. And on to South Sudan, where President Salva Kiir has officially changed the name of Sudan People's Liberation Army, SPLA, to South Sudan People's Defense Forces. State-owned television, SSBC, reports that the president issued the Republican order to transform the army on Tuesday. The president said that the new name is in a bid to professionalize the army to reflect that the diversity of the South Sudanese communities. The order cited resolutions of the 6th SPLA Command Council meeting of 2017. The SPLA was created in 1983 as the military wing of Sudan People's Liberation Movement and it became the National Army of South Sudan when other rebel groups were integrated in 2005 and after independence in 2011.